Hi, my name is Michael Snoyman. I'm the Vice President of Engineering at FP Complete. I want to speak with you about what makes Rust unique, specifically today about error handling. There are three mainstream common error handling techniques in most languages today. You have explicit error returns, which is common in languages like C and Go. You have checked exceptions, popularized by Java. And then you have unchecked exceptions in many other languages, including Python, JavaScript, and C Sharp. Explicit error returns have some advantages. It simplifies control flow. You don't have to worry about your code suddenly doing something that you can't tell. You call a function, the function returns. You don't have to worry about an exception being thrown. And they tend to have minimal performance impact the way that they're implemented. On the, downside, on the disadvantages side, they can be quite tedious to work with. They can add a lot of verbosity to your code. And it's very easy to make mistakes by forgetting to check an error return. With checked exceptions, you can still be very explicit about how things will fail. In a language like Java, you can say throws IO exception, and you can have a list of additional exception types that can be thrown by a function or a method. Uh, error handling doesn't end up littering all of your code in an exception kind of world. You have exceptions bubble up, and you can deal with them at some part of your code that can actually handle those exceptions. However, on the disadvantages side, with checked exceptions, you still end up having some ceremony around exception types. You have to explicitly list them. And this can lead to a lot of frustration and tediousness. Uh, people end up using workarounds in some cases. Instead of returning some, throwing some kind of an exception, they'll use the more general throwable to bypass the checked exception mechanism. Now you lose the advantages and you end up in the unchecked exception business, which is what we'll see next. And there's a possible performance impact depending on how exceptions are implemented in your language. Unchecked exceptions, uh, have the advantage that they are, of these three techniques, the easiest to use. You don't have to really think about them very much. You simply throw exceptions, catch exceptions, and you don't have to list what they are. And they therefore have the smallest impact on your code. However, the disadvantages are, it's no longer obvious how some piece of code can fail. You can have a function or a method call or something else and have no idea whether it may perform an IO exception, it may have an arithmetic exception or something else. It's easy to mishandle error cases as a result. It's easy to forget to free some resources, check if some kind of an HTTP exception may get thrown and give a nice user warning. And like checked exceptions, depending on how they're implemented, there may be a performance impact. Resolution is a little bit of a blend of these different approaches. It is still definitely in the camp of explicit return types. However, using Rust's very strong type system and using its ability to have enums, it's able to return a result value. The result enum lets you know explicitly whether something was, an ex was a success via OK, or if there was a failure via error. And then you're also able to ensure that errors are checked. In many cases, such as opening a file, you have to have access to the file, and you can only have access to that file if there was an OK return. Even in cases like writing to a file where you don't care about the return value, you don't need to have some kind of, a, of evidence coming out of it, the compiler has a built-in warning to make sure that you actually check the result value that comes out of these things. And this is a huge advantage over languages like C, where it's so obvious, it's so easy to accidentally miss some of these checks. Now, to bypass a lot of the overhead, the, uh, the verbosity in your code, Rust has int introduced an operator known as the try operator, which is just the question mark. And this really brings down the amount of code you need to write in order to do proper error handling. So some of the advantages with this approach, you always know in Rust explicitly how things can fail at the type level. You see something return a result and you can see which kind of errors it may have. There's less impact on your code than languages like C and Go, and it has a minimal performance overhead. On the disadvantages side, there is still more code impact than exceptions, especially compared with unchecked exceptions. You need to maintain error types. You need to keep track in your application of all the different ways something can, uh, can fail, and that can be tedious, but we'll get to that in a sec. And then many real life app examples of Rust end up using things like unwrap and expect, which turn your nice result values into a panic uh, at runtime, which basically just gives you back a lot of the bad sides of exceptions. So that is one of the best practices we recommend not using these methods. Other mitigations that you can look into for simplifying some of those problems I just mentioned, there are crates or libraries available in the Rust ecosystem to help out with proper error type handling, things that are able to add context, which is 
you know, basically like getting stack traces back, or to be able to simplify error type management overall. So those crates exist. Uh, and then another technique that a lot of people end up using, especially when you're dealing with smaller programs that don't need to be as precise in their exception handling, is to use the boxed in error approach, which basically means a dynamic something went wrong, which is very similar to unchecked exceptions, except you still know that something may have gone wrong as opposed to having no idea whether something could go wrong or not. Thank you. I hope this was helpful. Check out much more about Rust from FP Complete at fpcomplete.com slash Rust.